Just got a couple goodies to put in the bike. Um, got one of these. And I got this sweet blue thing. This blue is the fastest color. So, nonetheless, I'll be popping this thing in right away. Pick this one because it has these changeable cam um, set settings for your... Um, for how long the link is, which um, changes how much it lowers the bike. Because it's not just <clears throat> something that we need to understand is when you're putting a lowering link in, it doesn't actually just change your, how low your bike is. It actually changes the geometry and how the progressive suspension works. So when you go longer, which is how it lowers the bike, this link actually becomes longer from the center of this hole to center here. So if you look to number five for instance it lowers the, the most it can which is like 1.25 inches i believe with my bike that actually makes it a fair bit longer than the stock linkage <clears throat> when we do that it actually starts the suspension off in a really soft uh, range of motion and then it gets more progressive as it ramps up but you might not get as much um increase a ratio towards the end so you don't want to lower it any more than you have to in my case i'm actually only hoping to lower it maybe half an inch or something and then I also got the spring which is the correct stiffness which will actually set it up so it has the right free sag and race sag. Alright <clears throat> so I basically they didn't really give me numbers for what it would lower a 450 but I kind of figured out that uh, the 133.8 millimeter was roughly the small it is the stock length so setting three would be useless with the lowering link so I went to setting four um, which, depending on which <laughs> which ratio you're going to go with, it seems that uh, with a two, CRF 250, it gives you about 6 to 4, 6.4 to 1 lowering. So every millimeter uh, longer the pole rod is, um, is 6.4 millimeters of lower on the rear of the bike. With a CRF 250X, it's actually 7.4 to 1, so every millimeter longer on the pole rod equals 7.4 millimeters lower on the bike. So what it is, I calculated this is about 1.6 millimeters um, longer pole rod, which gives me a ballpark if I'm to use either of those um, for the equation for the multiplier, it's gonna be around 10.25 to around 11.84, whatever millimeters lower. So then I set up the race sag and free sag. I got it pretty good now with the blue spring. Um, <clears throat> now I understand like, your race sag and free sag might change a little bit with the um, <clears throat> with the new lowered lowering link as the um, leverage ratio changes, especially at the start. It starts off a lot um, less aggressive. Yeah, apologies, I gotta wash the bike. Um, <clears throat> the last ride out was kind of crazy. Um, had to hurry back to deal with kids and everything. Nonetheless, um, I think I'll give it a wash. And then once my toe heals up a bit more, I got steel toes on for the last few days, so that's exciting. Once my toe heals up a bit more, I'll go for a little test ride and see what I think. I rode around on the sidewalk and it feels pretty good. So otherwise, I think it'll be pretty good. What do you think, buddy? You think it'll be good? Do you think the new blue spring is gonna be faster? Is the blue the fastest color? Yeah, blue is the fastest color. <laughs> yeah, it is. What are you eating? Is that my freezy? Okay, uh -uh. you're gonna help me uh, wash the bike now? Mm -hmm. Okay. 